Hey queens, it's your girl AOMUA, aka Ashley. Today we are doing a full face of Ulta drugstore makeup. So when you walk into Ulta, there's like the high end side and then there's the drugstore side. Everything that I have bought and have in front of me is from the Ulta side. I've watched a lot of drugstore videos lately because I know that I need to up my drugstore game because makeup is expensive. I tried to go as cheap as humanly possible for all the different steps on your face that you need to do a full face of makeup. Do all these products work well? I don't know. The ones that do work well, I'll let you know. Some of these products I've used in the past, some of these products were recommended to me, and some of these products were literally $1.99, and I was like, we're gonna try it, sis. We're just gonna go right in. I'm a little nervous, but let's do it. I'm nervous. I don't know what's wrong with me, but I like can't catch my breath today. So that's fun. We're gonna start with something that's not drugstore because it's a habit of mine. It's only five bucks and I feel like it's important. If you don't have this in your makeup kit, I can't understand why. If this stuff is phenomenal, you can literally use it as a setting spray too. They sell these little bottles at Ulta for five bucks and now they sell the big bottles too, which are 14. So we're just gonna spray some of this on our face because I have to. Just wakes up the skin. So the next thing we're going to do is we're gonna take this Baby Skin by Maybelline. It's an instant pore eraser. This was recommended to me by a girl that I went to high school with. And the reason why I was like, I need something cheap to hide this and to hide these and to hide this. We've got waves on our forehead. So we're gonna go ahead and just apply this in any areas that you have like some serious laugh lines or just lines in general. I've watched a lot of drugstore review stuff lately and it's like this powder, but it's $13.99. You might as well just spend 10 more bucks on expensive powder. That's how I see it. I wanted to go real cheap, as cheap as I possibly could. There are a couple things that I knew for a fact I had to spend the money on, but literally everything else is pretty cheap or was recommended to me. So the next thing we're gonna do is our foundation. And if you watched my first video, you already know what I'm about to say, the L'Oreal True Match foundation and since we are going all drugstore that includes drugstore brushes so we are going to use a real techniques foundation brush i am not going to use a beauty blender and i'm scared if i wanted to i could have bought a real techniques beauty blender but i thought you know what let's change up the game so we're just going to dip this in the brush and just because we're using a brush does not mean we're going to start swiping that is not the rule sis that is not where we're going we are still sticking with our rules I'm nervous. This is gonna take some time to blend. This color might be a little light on me. I kind of just winged it and was like, this looks like it'll work. Wow, this, I don't know how I feel. I haven't put drugstore makeup on my face in a long time. My face is like, what the heck? And I need a tiny bit more. Oh my God, not that much. Yikes, we've reached a problem. Uh-oh. This might turn out to be really bad, but I'm gonna have some faith that this is gonna work for me. I'm putting way too much foundation on because I poured way too much. We decided to use the brush method because I really wanted to do this all drugstore and I only have my Morphe setting sponge and I really don't want to mix it with <laughs> the L'Oreal True Match. I should have bought a sponge though. And I definitely will be because I do live for this foundation. I'm just having problems because of the way I decided to apply it. See, once it's all blended, it looks good. So now when I was doing pageants, not even kidding, I used this foundation and then my Lancome Dual Finish Press Powder. Snatched. Okay, that's gonna be the best it's gonna get with a brush. Now that we've used this beautiful thing, honestly, I do really live for it for drugstore. I just chose the wrong way to apply it, but even with the brush, it didn't come out bad. It's got that nice dewy glow, which I really like for like everyday wear. Next, we're gonna use this Pro Conceal HD High Definition Concealer. This stuff is phenomenal not even like i'm not even exaggerating because it works so good for a drugstore i have to peel the paper off this concealer i got in porcelain but it looks more yellow than the foundation I'm using my elf flawless concealer brush i'm just gonna blend this into my skin it's a little yellow it was the lightest color they had it probably screwed up on some of the color matching because i was rushed blended real nice it's not bad so the next thing we're going to do is face powder this was recommended to me by gabby i'm excited to use this so this is the maybelline fit me powder and it's in the color classic ivory 120 and as i said i suck and i didn't take any of the packaging off or paper or whatever 
And I think it comes with a brush. Oh, it does. It comes with this. We're not using that. We are going to use my Paris Hilton Full Face Brush. I got this at TJ Maxx. It's like a drugstore, technically considered drugstore brush. That looks really good. It's a little swatchy. No, it's not. I'm just dumb. It's definitely bringing back my natural color, so I'm glad we went with this. It's a little on the yellow side. I feel like drugstore makeup is very like warm toned, which I think is why I've kind of never stuck with it. Wow, I really like this. I'm not upset about this. I am gonna give this a really good rating. I really like this, but we're gonna see how it plays throughout the day. So the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna bronze. This product was very cheap, $4.49 and it's by Essence. Looks like this. It's got a cute little design on it. I'm living for the little imprint design. So we're gonna use this NYX Professional Makeup Fan Brush. I watched a video one day where Nikki Tutorials did this to contour, but we're gonna use it to bronze. I'm gonna try really hard to use all drugstore brushes. I'm scared to do this. We're gonna do it, we're gonna make it work. Well, products on there because I got it all over my wet cloth. Wow, it's not terrible, I think. I feel like I'm just using the wrong brush to do this. This was probably, I wouldn't do this this way. So much excess comes off though. I don't know how I feel about this and I'm nervous because I have like two or three other products I think by this brand that I bought. I'm a little scared. Ooh, I'm gonna have to cheat. I can somewhat get that blended. It doesn't look bad. It honestly doesn't look that bad. I'm just over exaggerating. I feel like this would work a lot better if you use a brush like this. Yeah, I have to cheat. I'm using this, I don't care. Because I don't like the way my cheek is coming out. Much better, okay. Yeah, it was just the brush. Don't use the NYX fan brush. We're gonna just cheat because you know what my excuse is gonna be? Morphe's on the drugstore side of Ulta, so. Mm, that's my cheating excuse. That looks a lot better. What's next? I need coffee. So how am I feeling about the bronzer? It's light. It's an 01 Sunshine. Oh, it's such a cute name though. I literally paid 4.49 for it, so you get what you're paying for. The next thing I am going to be using is the LA Girl Just Blushing Blush in the color Just Natural. Wow, that's a lot of excess. but she's pigmented. She is pigmented. I'm not even gonna dip it in again for this side. She's a little bit of a hot mess on this side, but she pigmented. That's a little too pigmented and a lot of fallout came out, which sucks, but this blush, wow. I paid $5.99 for this. I kind of like it. I don't like how much fallout there was though and how it was like, even though y'all literally saw me tap the excess off and blow on it. Now when I do drugstore makeup, I like to add a little bit on my nose, but since we know that this is crazy pigmented, we're gonna literally dip it in once. And I just dip, dip, dip. I like having a cute little rosy nose whenever I do like drugstore makeup. So the next thing we're going to do, dear God, it's a brows. I'm scared because guess what brand this is by? Essence. It was $1.99 and I'm not gonna lie, I'm scared. But I did test this on my hand before I bought it and after a couple swiggles that brought out product, Oh, Jesus, take the wheel. Let's do this. Well, I'm not gonna lie, it draws on pretty easily. It just drew me a whole new eyebrow. Kinda dig it. It ain't working out on this eyebrow. We're gonna have to work with it. Oh, this is too much work. That's better. We're gonna fix it with eyeshadow. We're gonna use some passion tricks because I'm done. We're gonna just step away from the eyebrows because I'm gonna fix it the old-fashioned way. Pageant girls, y'all know what I'm about to do with this. So we're gonna go back and take our Pro Conceal. Obviously we don't, are not buying primer because this is drugstore and I wanted to be as cheap as possible. So we're gonna reuse, reduce, recycle our Pro Conceal. Mm, that's a look right there. Beauty Guru of the Year 2019. So that I can use it as a primer. Now that is a really big trick in the book for makeup beauty gurus is that using concealer as an eyeshadow primer. We're gonna try it though as a primer because I don't think I've ever done that with this one. 
Okay, good enough. Today we are using the Wet n Wild Rose in the Air 758 eyeshadow palette. Wow, it was five bucks. Oh God, am I gonna be able to get the paper off though? Is the real tea. Not even expensive makeup is this difficult to open. If I break a nail, I'm gonna scream. I love Wet n Wild, but honey, no one's gonna steal a $5 eyeshadow palette. I'm about to give up. There's another one on the bottom. Oh my God, I'm not doing this. So we're gonna take this bottom and top transition color and I'm gonna mix the two together. And I'm just gonna put that in here, in my crease. I'm making the easiest eyeshadow look in the world. Oh wow, you know what I never realized? That my concealer brushes are Essence. I never realized that. These things are by Essence. Hmm. They've done me well though. Whoa, it's pigmented. That was way more pigmented than I thought it was gonna be. And then this fluffy angled brush by Real Techniques, it's just a base shadow brush. I'm just gonna use that to blend in this orange into those other colors and just kind of blend it out in general. I don't want it to be that harsh. Yeah, that's not bad. That actually turned out really cute and like fall-like. Too bad it's January. <laughs> Cute. Well, the next thing we're going to do, this was some pageant tricks we're about to throw in here. Instead of using eyeliner, which you totally could use like a NYX liquid eyeliner or a gel liner, whatever your heart desires, we're going to make our lives easier. And we're going to just use the darkest shade in this palette, which is this like brown shade right here. And we're just going to use an angled brush that is as thin as humanly possible. This is also by Real Techniques. It's a brow brush and use this as liner. So I'm only going to do it on the outer part. And then the next thing we're gonna do is fix our brows. I'm gonna use the same color and I'm just gonna, oh, that was a mistake. Anyways, you pack this into your brows and it kind of just, oh, that was that bad. Yeah, that did it. So the next thing we're gonna do is mascara. I have this Essence Mascara. I'm so scared to use this product. I'm so scared to do this, not even funny. Oh wow, that actually worked. Okay, that's not bad. I actually like this. Now, I naturally have long and curly lashes, so I don't own an eyelash curler, but if you do, literally buy one from the dollar store because don't waste your money. Just don't. I love Wet n Wild, but I hate that their packaging is the equivalent of someone trying to break into a bank. I am using this highlighting power by Wet n Wild. It's in the color 321B. I also have 319B. So they're both really pretty, but I am gonna go in with this gold one. I feel like it'll actually go well with the eye look that I decided to do because I don't have a highlighting brush that is drugstore other than that next one, but we are not going through that again. We're just gonna use our fingers and I can tell you this is gonna work. There we go, sis. So the more you apply, the more dramatic it's gonna get. Oh yeah, you can see it on this side. Literally anything by Wet n Wild I've never had a problem with. Just opening it is my problem. The last thing we are going to do before I literally rip my head off, we are gonna do our lips. So I'm using this NYX lip liner. NYX, don't do this to me. I'm telling you, I'm gonna be editing and like half of it is just gonna be me opening everything and screaming. <sighs> my nails are chipping, nice. So we're gonna line our lips with this in the color natural, SPL810. I don't have lips, so I overline like crazy. Let's just see how it matches with the lip color I picked out. So for the lip color I'm using, it's this Vivid Hot La Coeur by Maybelline in the color 66, too cute. Okay, oh, I feel like this might be a lip gloss, uh-oh. Oh my god, it does not look like the packaging. Okay, sis. This was definitely a gloss, <laughs> and I bought it thinking it was a lipstick. Yikes. It's on my teeth. Well, I was gonna put a lip gloss on over this, but since it's all over my teeth, and it turned out to be a lip gloss, we're just gonna assume that this Essence Water Kiss was a no-go. So I'm done, thank god. Do I even want to spray my face? No. Mm. My thoughts.
I'm upset. This did not go the way I was hoping it was gonna go. The only thing I am happy with, honestly, is the highlighter. The lip liner was good, and then this does not look as pink as it came out. Let me just... This is like super pink, and this is more like dull. I don't know how they did that, but they did that. It says color essential lip. It doesn't say lip gloss. So I assumed it was lipstick. And this is not lipstick. I don't know, I feel like a Barbie doll. This is the final look. I'm not even gonna spray my face for this. I like my foundation, of course. I am getting some creases because I did the foundation not the way I normally do. So this is the third time that I've done this around my lash lines. But when I normally do my foundation the way I normally do and then I put the wand comb powder on, this doesn't happen. I would say this is good. I do like this. I just feel like I applied my foundation wrong, which is why I'm having some creases. I already know this is good because I've used this other ways and it works phenomenal. I like the lip pencil. I was excited because I thought the lip color was like the lip pencil and I thought it was gonna work. We all know I love this, the highlighter. This, I mean, I only used like three colors, three, four colors, but I would say that if I played with this more, I could really come up with something cute for this. But if you're looking for like an everyday palette, the Wet n Wild ones are really, really good and they're cheap. I like this LA Girl Pro Concealer. I did get it a little bit too dark, but after I did all my makeup, it came together really well. I'm not gonna lie, this brow pencil, I had some problems with this brow, but that's normal for me because my brow on this one just doesn't like me sometimes, and today happened to be one of those days. This mascara wasn't bad. I'm definitely gonna have to use it more to see how it works out. I hate this. This did not blend at first but now it's okay. This had way too much fallout for being blush. You're probably gonna have to tap your brush like 12 times in order to not get a streaky mess. And we didn't try this. Let's just do it, why not? It smells. And it disappeared. Okay, I don't like this. I did not like these three at all. This one was just way too much work. This did not look like how I thought it was gonna be, nor does it advertise as a lip gloss, unless L-A-C-Q-U-E-R means lipstick, or lip, excuse me, means lip gloss in another language. I thought it was a lipstick. This literally just disappeared my lips. Oh no, it's on my teeth. Nice. I hate my lips right now, so I'm gonna go take it off. Yeah, I hope this helped you. Most of the products that I used, I did like. This bronzer's kinda in the middle. This blush, I'm a little upset that didn't work out well because everything else by LA Girl has worked for me that I've used, and I've used a couple of their different products. I'm impressed that this worked well. I only did one layer, but I mean, I also have really long eyelashes naturally. And then everything else, I'm not surprised, worked well. So I hope you guys enjoyed this. This was kind of just something that I wanted to do because I was like, let's just buy some drugstore makeup and see how it turns out. I was going to keep this on for you for the rest of the day, but I hate the way I look. So I'm going to take it off. Feel free to comment down below. Actually, don't. Don't comment down below. Don't. Thank you guys so much for watching. Please subscribe. Like this video. Lip gloss is literally getting on my teeth. <sighs> follow my makeup Instagram page. I'm gonna hide my mouth as I talk. Please like this video. Please subscribe. All of that stuff. I'm repeating myself now because I'm just embarrassed. Thank you for watching. Uh, this was fun. Not really. I feel gross. Goodbye!